them, right? Can we talk? This little guy, uh, oh my god. falling asleep love it for me I'm done with the pharmacy I'm done with the Rosman now I'm headed to kick because I want to grab some sweaters for both the kids myself and hubby because guys it has gotten really chilly and we need some sweaters like so bad so there is that here perfect let's go right in 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 Super. Finally, my son is a stage where I can eat. Ooh, guys, but we are starting very light. We're starting with uh, purees and just two uh, fruits a banana and apple. That's all. I just boil it and then, you know, mash it for him and then he can eat. And he's been doing great when it comes to the eating uh, process. So it wasn't. Had. I think he was just ready to eat guys. He was just ready because every time we'll, I'll be eating or, or his dad or the, the, the sister will be eating You see like he's so Fascinated with what are these people doing? I also want this like he's trying to grab It's just like a lover like you cannot eat in peace when you're holding him even when he's just next to you guys he literally wants to come at that, what you're eating so that was a big sign that he's ready and also when his pediatrician said you can start to give him solids but only the purees i was like say no more so yeah guys and i'm really happy that i'm not struggling like you know with my daughter she was already six months when she started eating my son is now five months but uh she didn't like anything it was just hard for her she would just bring everything back she just was she she just didn't like anything but with this one oh boy he is ready 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 he's been ready okay but yeah guys welcome to another day in this vlog it's been a couple of um days since i last vlogged and you should know that by now because we ended up at the hospital for some reason my son fell out of bed guys this boy has been doing too much he's not even crawling yet but he can literally push himself so when you leave him here you find him there but he just pushes himself and after my workout i realized he needed a, um, a diaper change and guess what i got here looking for the diaper and I got distracted and that was just enough time for him to do what he did and off the bed. So we rushed to the hospital, the emergency uh, area for the kids and we were admitted just to make sure we were, we, nothing came up. 
So we stayed there for some time. Oh, sorry, baby. Okay. <laughs> He's like, please feed me. Please feed me. So we stayed there for some time. And yeah, he was cleared. We're back home. Everything is good. But guys, that happened on my watch. And oh. So I've just been going through the last uh, few days, to be honest with you. Guys, the hospital is just not my friend. I don't like hospitals in general. Of course, no one wants to be at the hospital. But when you are at the hospital, like, you appreciate life differently. Like, health, you take health so serious. Because we take this health thing so, like, so lightly. But when you're at the hospital and you see how people are struggling, healthy-wise... You just have to thank God every single day that you've woken up and you're healthy. Like, yo, I'm just so grateful. And again, it could have been worse. But it just had a nosebleed. It just had a nosebleed. And like, I think he fell on the left side of his head, guys. And he was a little bit red on the left side. And his left side of the nose was bleeding more than the other. And... That was just it. So we were just there. They did all the scans, monitoring the temperature. But the temperature thing was there. The temperature issue was there. It's just that he's also in a teething phase and his temperature raises in the night. I'm talking of in the night, guys. <laughs> oh, I wake up exhausted because my son is not sleeping well lately because of that teething phase that we're in. But regardless, I'm grateful, guys. I am grateful because I get to sleep during the day. That's something I can literally do. I can literally sleep the whole day if I wanted to. If he goes down for his nap, I can go down with him. So I'm really not complaining in the night when he's just not sleeping and he wants to sleep on me, like nap, like contact sleeping. I do that for him. He sleeps and I just be watching. It's like I'm on night shift. <laughs> I don't wake my husband up to help me because he has no... Um, that uh, option of sleeping during the day because he's working and I try to go to the living room sometimes because I don't want to dis disturb their sleep. I want them to wake up well rested, him and my daughter of course, because I don't have that option of sleeping during the day. Uh, my daughter actually has that option of sleeping during the day, um, at least for her, but again, I want her to be well rested because it's just so important. But aside that, I, get, I I received some packages this morning. I'm really excited to dive into those mm -hmm. a little bit later. But the big, I don't know if I showed you all the packages. Uh, the huge packages, Habby's package, and then I have three packages. There is just one more that hasn't arrived yet. And it's the one I badly want. Why do things happen this way, guys? Like, in all the packages, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy these ones are here because I ordered these things and I want them. But for some reason, the that one, that one that I'm like, I want it to be here. It's not here yet. And I also want to go to town for just a quick run. But I'm afraid if I leave, it might end up coming when I'm not here. And our, our neighbors are literally off for holiday in the, the next country because they're from, I won't mention the country, but they are off to their home country for just, you know, holiday. And when the packages come, um they might end up going back because usually when they're here they just give them to my neighbor and then we get them when I'm back but now that option is not there and we are the main road here so <laughs> someone can like our our gates here so low that someone can just jump over and literally grab what's at the door so we don't risk it even with a little camera we people can still cover their faces and take something so we don't risk that that just makes me miss the old place because my uh indoors were down like Steffi's great grandparents were down and we were up up so anytime i was not at home things could come and they'll just take the things in but here it's our neighbor if the neighbor is not here they have to take that the, the packages back and you know the package i'm excited for and i'm waiting for you cannot take it to this pickup, um, the Germans, the Pakete shop, like the these pickup stores because it's huge. So, ugh, guys, man, 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 man. But yeah, guys, how are you guys doing? Fall is finally here. I did get a few pieces from, of course, the clip, and then I wanted to show you guys when we got here, but that's when shit happened, and then we ended up at the hospital. <laughs> 
we ended up at the hospital i didn't show you the things i got i got some sweaters some pants leggings i just got lunch uh lunch sweaters around the house come on baba come on I got some lunch, uh, lunch sweaters, more so like lunch clothes for me because you guys, I need a whole new wardrobe. This year, I've not really gotten anything exciting to wear because I'm in the house, so everything I'm getting has been just for in the house. Like, yo, we only get out to go for walks and grocery shopping, just quick runs and back here, but something serious serious we've not been able to do so but again i am not complaining guys because i prayed for these moments and i know next year is gonna be even better because my son's gonna be grown we can go places and do all of that stuff so i'm really not complaining so there is that i wanted ba 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 you're so cute he was really, really hungry, guys. He was hungry. But I did it intentional so that he can really eat properly. What? What? Yeah, I'm telling them that you've been very hungry and you couldn't say anything. That you, you couldn't tell me, Mommy, I'm hungry. But he was sending the clues that he's, he's hungry. So I just had to take a shower with him in the shower. In the bathroom, not directly in the shower. Um, so I had to take a shower, you know, just got myself ready. And then I'm feeding him. So once he goes down for his nap, I'm gonna make myself something to eat. Bub. Oh, okay. You want more? Yeah, you want. Airplane is coming. Bub. I think he's full now. This is just too much. Ba, ba, ba. transfer the footage from my um, memory card to the iMac and also airdrop some to my iPad because I could I tend to continue editing while at my in-laws and yeah just gonna get it ready so we get to leave Seth is home today so I figured I'll just use this opportunity to get there so they get to see their grandchildren also babysit as I get some me time if you know what I mean so yeah that's gonna be it for now I guess I'll see you guys a little bit later but, oh. Germany and you miss local chicken get close <laughs> 
there is this chicken called soup and hoon it's it tastes just like the local chicken back home guys chicken here it's like you have to fry it for it to taste good and you don't have to overcook it but with the Uganda chicken you have to really cook it overcook it for it to taste better soft and it just tastes really good so run to either Edika Oh, I think all the stores have here. All the, the grocery stores have got that that type of chicken. It's called soup and hoon. Soup and hoon. Sometimes I boil it. Sometimes I just fry it. it... Yeah. So I'm just gonna literally dump everything in: carrots, tomatoes onion some paprikas and some little garlic i don't do too much spices because i'm nursing and spices just upset my son's stomach so i just don't do too much of it but for better taste i just add a bit 